Welcome to the Snivers Red Prologue. I'm Economicon, and it's time for us to bond with our neighbor over coffee. The air tasted like cold iron. I replaced the taste with a puff of smoke. The snow is red, as it has always been. The wind blew past the balcony. Red flakes touch my skin and dissolve like ash. I feel nothing. I'm going to assume the red snow isn't toxic for us to breathe in. As if it is, it'd be a foolish mistake to be on the balcony. Better get inside. This cigarette break took me too long. I should get back to my laptop and finish writing. So if we're saying this snow tastes like iron, is the snow actually just covered in blood? Is that why it's really red? Oh, I've got a reflection! Nice. And I kind of look like I've been attacked by a splasher killer. I approve. No, it seems the water is breaking its way into our apartment. Something's wrong with the water. The pipe might be getting rusty. Either that, or I maintain, is blood. Someone has tried to wash her body down the drains and now it's just flooding our apartment. I wasn't trying to go back outside. Oh, we got anything on TV to watch? There's a faint signal on the screen. It's shifting from one program to another, but you can't really tell what the program's about. Okay, I'll just leave you on for background noise. Nice poster. Alright, JC. Time to finish this job. Let's get cracking. Letter by letter. One word at a time. Words become sentences. Eventually, sentences become paragraphs. One after another, and another. I'm editing the article like a hundred times before. And some back pain later. Finally, it's done! Perfect! Just to email the client and now, get paid. I submit the work as usual. Writing the email with some formality. I need to get paid. And time to hit that send button. Please tell me we saved our work before we tried to send it. What the? Oh no, you can't be serious. Who's that? A visitor at this hour? With the blue screen of death on my laptop. Just what I needed. I better see who's knocking. So the blue screen of death. Do you reckon that's like the Xbox red ring of death? Oh, hello. I see you were attacked by a slushy balloon as well. Hi, what can I do for you? Hi. A girl is standing in front of my door. Oh, you just moved in next door, didn't you? Y yes Nice to meet you. My name is Claire. I... If you don't mind, I brought something for you. Please, take it. She hands me a bag of cookies. Ooh, tasty. Noir's Bakery. The bag is neatly wrapped with a red ribbon. That's lovely, but didn't she move in a few months ago now? Wasn't that a bit too late for such an introduction gift? Thank you. That's very nice of you, Claire. Would you like to come in and join me some coffee? She's reluctant to answer. What the hell are you doing, JC? Inviting a girl you just met into your room for a coffee? But to be fair, she's already in our room. All we're going to do is provide her a drink. I hope she won't think I'm creepy. That... that would be nice. She replies stutteringly. She's a very shy person. Well then, make yourself comfortable. I'll make her some coffee. Oh, by the way, I'm JC. Nice to meet you, Claire. Thank you, JC. I brew a coffee for both of us. Ah, the perfect drink for the snow weather. Claire raises the mug to sip her coffee. It's so warm. That smells really good. It went well with your cookies. I just thought, though, if her shower is leaking red blood or red water, that means basically all our plumbing is going to be doing the same, right? So have I just made coffee with blood? Thank you. I'm glad you like them. So, what do you do, Claire? I am a freelance illustrator. What kind of things do you draw? She blushed slightly. Claire? What do you draw? It varies from client to client. 
I draw all kinds of things from animals to characters and and sometimes characters that are also animals. You draw furries, don't you? Oh, you absolutely do. Do you draw furry? Y yes! She blushed uncontrollably. I know some people are not into furries, but I think they're very cute. I love drawing them. You see, I've got no problems with people that like dressing as furries. The only times I start getting a bit weirded out is when it's they start to like force it on kids, if that makes sense. I don't mean like dressing the kids up as animals, they, kids would want to do that regardless. It's like people in four fursuits going into public locations and then just letting kids pet them. I don't know why, that's just a bit weird to me. She's like a different person. When she talks about furries, that takes some skill and ability to draw so many things. Drawing is the only thing I'm good at. And it pays well enough. If you can live on what you love, that's very nice. What about you, JC? What do you do for a living? Me? Oh, I'm a writer. I'm a writer. Freelancing like you. Most of the time, I write boring product reviews, or sometimes an advertisement for some strange website. I also practice writing for video games. My dream is to someday make a visual novel game of my own. Why am I so open with her? So weird. I feel like we've met a hundred times before. Do you play or read any visual novels, Claire? I don't have time to play much nowadays, but once there was a game developer who hired me to draw backgrounds, or sometimes a character for them. Sometimes it's included, um, this, uh, love, love scenes too. Her voice fades away. Those are game assets for visual novel. I got those kind of jobs from time to time, and most of them are not erotic. Wasn't like what people often think this kind of game is. What kind of game story are you writing, JC? Oh, say horror. Please say horror. Make this full meta. Claire tries to change the subject. Well, in my spare time, I'm writing a horror and slightly psychological one. Hell yeah, JC! Are you happening to be writing The Snow is Red by any chance? To tell you the truth, my first draft always feels like a comedy. Oh, you are now very close. What pretty eyes you have. You drink a lot of blood. Claire's eyes, as if they're 2.56 times wider, when I let out the word horror. I like horror games so much. The Fog Tower is my all-time favorite. That one was a cool classic. You have good taste, Claire. The girl sure loves horrors. What is your favorite horror game, JC? Oh, I do like Best Evil, but I feel like we want to do a uh, visual novel. You have to say Doki Doki. I played Doki Doki Architecture Club recently. That game was amazing. I love the ending so much. You mean when the MC got trapped in the waterfall house for eternity? That's right. As if the place was haunted. It's just like, like. Like the movie, Evil Head. Exactly! I watched the sequel so many times, and that scene that he showed the chop shotgun. We've spent almost an hour talking about horror games, movies. By the way, didn't you move in like three months ago now? You... you're right. It's odd, isn't it? To knock on your door and introduce myself just now. I thought you had a trouble while moving in or something. Well, during that time, I had so many freelance jobs needed to finish. I didn't have time to work on them because I had to move out from my old place. But they need the artwork from me and I couldn't let them down or else their game would get delayed because of me. So I was working all nighters for weeks. In the end, I managed to deliver them on time. I was completely exhausted and slept for days. 
when I woke up, it was already past Christmas Eve. All the work's done, but I don't have anyone to share the joy with, or even a chance to enjoy the moment. That's where the cookies came from. I want to celebrate this Christmas time with someone, even if it means nothing now. Aww. I'll share Christmas with you. No, I'm not a massive Christmas person. I'll just share in the joy that you managed to get your work done. I hope all of this somehow makes sense to you. And also, I want to get to know someone and make friends. I had never done it before, and it could feel weird for you. Don't worry, Claire. You don't sound weird just for trying to make friends. We're living in this weird place. Perhaps for you, very far away from home. It's good to have someone at very least to listen to you, or to share a copy with. Thanks, JC, for being understanding. She replied lightly, with a smile on her face. Can we... be friends? Of course. I wonder if I can, can actually reject her then. Of course, Claire, we can be friends. Thank you, JC. I don't know how to continue the conversation after this point. Go back to talk about horror. We can find sleep from there. Maybe it's a good idea to stand up and take a break for a bit. Well, let me take care of these cups. I reached to her cup to collect it for washing. It's okay, JC. Let me help you. Ah! Did you just smash my cup? God damn it, Claire. Then again, you did bring me cookie cookies. So maybe this means we're even. The cup falls and breaks on the ground. I'm sorry. It's okay. Watch out for those broken pieces. I kneel to pick up the pieces of a broken mug. Ouch! Blood started to flow slowly from the fresh cut. Claire? Do you actually drink blood? Is that what your eyes are? Are you a vampire? JC, you're bleeding! Okay, you're definitely gonna drink my blood. Why are you so close to me? <laughs> yeah. Her eyes widen, looking at me intensely. It's just a small cut. I need to put a bandage on it. Oh, maybe not a vampire. Maybe just a general demon. JC, can I? Can I have some of your blood? Wait. What does that say? I think it's upside down, right? I think the last one is blood. Oh, wait. Is it upside down? I don't know if it's backwards or not. I can't work out what that says. Claire? Are you okay? She's mumbling in an odd language. Slick piercing out of her skull. It soaked with her blood. I think this is Nemo. Oh, Omen! Oh, sacrifice blood, Omen! Well, I said blood, Omen. Do it. Hi, Claire. Did you just shove me off the balcony? I can't move. I feel my blood keep pouring out. She's standing right in front of me. My pain turned to numbness and then nothing. She was so bathing in my blood. What the hell just happened? Did that girl just kill me? And yet I'm alive again. Was that a nightmare? Maybe I'm just too tired. These freelance gigs are killing me. Anyway, time to get it over and done with. And this time when she knocks on the door, we should probably not answer. Do we reckon that's why there's blood on my shirt? Have I gone through this many, many times before? The mirror is dirty. I can't see my face. Oh, hi Claire, I see you're already in my apartment. I wonder, I don't think that could have happened last time, right, since we didn't know about her. 
I think my clothes are fine. No need to change. It's very tempting, but no. No time to sleep. Oh, my kettle's gone this time. I guess we're not having coffee. Oh, do I have to get our work done? At least my computer speaks itself. For now. No, it's not. You're not allowed in this time, Claire. Oh, is that how many times you've already killed me? This is not happening. Oh, we got a knife, though. I'm gonna take this, don't mind me. Should I take a knife with me? Absolutely. Please, no. Please don't make me do this. I'm gonna make you do this. Answer the door. Plot twist, it's not even clear this time. Hi, Claire. I am sorry. The horrible cycle needs to stop. Forgive me, Claire. But you need to die. I am sorry. Oh, good God. I really am sorry. Ah. Oh. The snow is red. And I still maintain my first idea. The snow is just full of blood. So I'm guessing if we don't pick up the knife, we won't kill her, and we'll probably die again, right? And the cycle will restart. But we're a murderer this time. No pixel character actor has been harmed, injured, or killed during the making of this game. So please, do not worry. Claire is still your nice neighbor. And always will be. Forever. 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 Goodbye, Claire. That's your story, JC. And the choice you've made. How do you feel about it? Do you want a second chance? Yes. I should do. Alright. All you have to do is lose your eyes. Oh, um, I mean close your eyes. <laughs> and I will send you back. I listened to her and closed my eyes. Ah, oh, my eyes hurt as if they're bleeding. That noir girl really means it. Now I'm back in the loop again. And all we're gonna do is not pick up the knife. Okay. Here we go again. I gotta make it out of here this time. Wait, can we actually make it out of here? When I look closely, worthless, huh? What does that mean? I mean, can I just go to bed? This is not happening. What if I just go to the balcony? Maybe we should just smoke. Smoke is a good solution, right? Let's just ignore the door that someone wants to get in. I'm just not feeling it right now. Oh, we're not even allowed to go take a nap. Okay, let's just answer this door. What do you want? Hi, JC. Tell me, what just happened? What have you done to me? You remembered everything. I don't want you to remember me like this, JC. But don't you worry, because the next time, I will take care of your memories. Okay, see? So, oh, Shattered Soul. Memories and... Wait, wait, wind? The circle shall not be broken. Their blood consume. Thy blood consume. Oh, that's why I'm struggling to read this sometimes, because it's sometimes upside down, and sometimes it's just backwards. <laughs> well, basically just wants to consume my blood. Oh, you manage it. I don't think we can get out of here.
Well, we got the hopeless ending this time, though. I really don't think there is any escape, right? Unless we just gotta not answer the door. Hi, you're back. How is it this time? Still want to give it another shot? I tried everything. But it doesn't matter at all, does it? It keeps happening. Trapped in the circle. Never ending pain and suffering. I can't help you to get out of this endless nightmare. Take this. Did you just hand me a snowball? Noir pushes a floating orb towards me. It's surrounded with flakes that looks like snow, but white. It has a snowy appearance, yet I felt so warm when I was holding it. The globe disappeared into my chest. Now, you are ready. For what? Find out for yourself. You flooded my apartment? Okay, you've got to drink all this blood. Um. I can't read this. I struggle. My pain hurts. I knew. Very damn well now. Okay, I think that's just asking for blood, right? Consume! Enough of this, Claire! I have no idea how long we have been caught in this cycle. And whatever you are, whatever you have become, I know you're in pain. Over overflowing pain! Pain! It hurts so much, JC! <laughs> ah, help me! She burst into tears. Let's stop all of this, Claire. You can fight it. You and me, Claire. Ah, uh, how? Ah. Uh. Foolish, I think it says? Oh! Wait, she stabbed my chest. She's just stabbed the glowing orb, right? She strangles me with inhuman strength. Oh, she didn't stab me, that's the issue. The next thing I can feel is her claws digging into my chest. My heart is in her grip. Ugh. I got you now. I gather all the strengths I have left to grab her. I hold her tightly. The white orb floats out from my chest and casts a bright ray of light. Ah! The snow is falling. Cold weather has arrived in this town again. I exhale my foggy breath. A flake mounts as it touches my hand. Then, the droplet slowly slides off the palm. Hi, Noir. Down in the park, there's a girl in black. She's smiling at me. Do I know her? It seems like I have a visitor. Since I just finished work, having company for a late afternoon coffee would be nice. She's gone. Let's see who my guest is. Do you know, was anyone else getting let the right one in vibes? Just the solo girl down in the snowy park. Hi, Claire. I opened the door and was met by two girls. Uh, hi. Hello, my roommate and I. We just moved in. So we decided to come and say hi. These two girls look so familiar to me. But I don't know why. Well, would you like to come in and join me for coffee? Well, the snow isn't covered in blood right yet. I don't think it's going to last very long. Snow is white. I stand corrected. There was a way to survive that event then. So I wonder then, when the snow is red, that gives us a kind of Silent Hill situation. So it indicates when the town is stuck in this monstrous state. Interesting. 
If you enjoyed your time here, I'd really appreciate you to like this video and subscribe to this channel. But other than that, it was a spooky day and I'll catch you next time, guys.